I'm here in Dallas for REIT World 2011 NARIT's annual convention. Joining me is Connie Moore, the president and CEO of BRE Properties. So Connie, the residential sector has enjoyed quite, quite a run lately um, with very favorable tailwinds. What are the risks of these tailwinds becoming headwinds as we head into 2012? You know, um, I don't see it in 2012. I think that the demographics for multifamily are, I think, one of the reasons that it's been such a, um, a the chosen sector for a lot of people. We have the demographics of the echo boomers coming into the renter pool. We have an, an amazing number of families who are choosing to rent. Um, some are being forced to rent um, because of the foreclosure situation. Now, all of those aren't obviously coming to multifamily. Um, many of them are renting single-family homes. But I think it's, um, it's, I think for 12, and really probably into 13, we've got some great tailwinds um, um, for the multifamily industry. You know, the interesting thing for us is we've done all of this without a lot of job growth. And I think um, what could turn this into some headwinds is that if we don't ultimately get some wage growth, because without real wage growth, I think that all of us landlords, will, there will be a limit to how much we can push rents. Because, you know, pushing, particularly on the West Coast, we're starting to see some very nice rent growth. But if we're not seeing wage growth, um, people are going to start to push back. So I, I, think, I think we still have probably another 12 to 18 months of some fairly good revenue growth. But at some point, it'll push back. And one of the issues that we're starting to hear more about is this issue of looming debt maturities again, you know, kind of a, a, a sequel to what we saw before. Um, how is BRE positioned and what are the chances that this could lead to more acquisition opportunities? Well, from a positioning standpoint, we're in a great position. Um, other than our line that, ma that matures in September of 12, um, we have no meaningful debt maturities until 2017. So we feel like we're in a great position to have um, a very flexible financial statement uh, or balance sheet that will allow us to take advantage of opportunities. Do I think that there will be a lot of opportunities in multifamily world? Um, probably not as many as maybe um, people would like to think. We'd all love to see some distress um, that would give us some opportunities. Um, but it clearly, um, you think about the CMBS, um, there's probably a wave that comes due in 12 and then there's another wave that comes due in you know, 15, 16, and 17. And um, so there could be some opportunities, and I think having a great um, financial statement um, will allow us to look at those opportunities. We have a big development pipeline, so we're making sure that um, our balance sheet is strong enough to allow us to fund that um, over the next couple of years. And lastly, here at REIT World, we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the modern REIT era. Where do you see the, the, the next era of REITs going in, and what will kind of be the, the defining criteria? You know, I think it's going to be interesting over the next 20 years because I think we're going to start to see a number of the REITs that we know today and love um, were created by um, uh, their founders, some who are very interesting characters. And I think as we begin to, and we're starting to see the succession, just sort of the natural succession as, we, as, as REITs get older, management teams get older, and how management teams go through that succession, because I think it's very important. I think we've seen some great examples of um, succession planning, and I think the greatest, um, the greatest gift to shareholders is having a succession plan um, that is flawless and seamless. And um, so I think that we're going to start to see that. I think REITs have clearly, um, they're in the mainstream today, and they're going to stay that way. I think that um, the benefits of REITs, um, the dividend component, as these baby boomers continue to get older um, and need to live off of something, um, the dividends are going to become a key component. So between that and, you know, sophisticated management teams that are going to take them into the next, you know, 20 to 50 years is going to be um, sort of some of the biggest changes I think we'll see in REIT land. Great. Connie, thank you Thank you. Much. For more from REIT World 2011, be sure to visit REIT.com.